What imagery is conjured up when the words reservoir and dam are mentioned? Picturesque scenery, a velvety green forest, an unparalleled gigantic dam structure, spectacular scenes of water gushing out from its floodgates, or a mystic fairyland. No matter what images it may conjure. There is one place in Taiwan that includes all the above characteristics: the Liutan Reservoir. Liutan Reservoir is located on the branch of the Da'an River, Jingshan Creek. It not only sustains biodiversity, enriches culture, and also provides public freshwater access. For the Greater Taichung area, the Liutan Reservoir was named for its location by the Liutan Village in Miaoli Sanyi Township. The water source of Liutan Reservoir comes from the Jingshan Creek, but also water diverged from Da'an River across regions. Jingshan Creek originates from Guandao Mountain east of Liutan Village. It tumbles through majestic cliffs of the Guandao Mountain. The Longtan Broken Bridge nearby is a famous tourist spot. In the past, Longtan was named Jewel Fine Field. Local lore describes the tale of a spirit of a cardfish that had been disturbing the surrounding area. In order to protect themselves. People utilized the Guandao Mountain to cut jewel vines from this place at the upper stream. The poisonous jewel vine extracts flowed down to the creek, and the spirit of the cardfish was poisoned to death. Although years and months have passed by, and the credibility of the legend never proven, however, the myth continues to lend color and mystery to this place. What do you think of these legends? 本源来就是大理家，应该也是讲是八寨族的祖基地。住在这里的八寨族都是以农牧为生，但是我们最主要生活的就是打猎啦、捕鱼，这、就是我们八寨族擅长的一个比较拿手的生活方式。In fact, the construction of every reservoir takes up a lot of social resources. Therefore, the timing of building reservoirs often closely reflects social demands and background. The building of the Liutan Reservoir began in the 1980s when the Greater Taichung area was under rapid industrial and commercial development, causing water usage to surge. The Taiwan Provincial Water Resources Bureau actively planned out the construction of the Liutan Reservoir from 1984, and continued with implementation after the Executive Yuan granted approval in March 1985. The main facilities of the Liutan Reservoir project include the dam of the reservoir, the water spillway, and the intake and outlet works. Also, to diverge water from the Da'an River, the cross-region diversion engineering was also carried out after the reservoir's completion. Next, let's take a look at these facilities. The Liutan Reservoir Dam was designed by our bureau as a roller compacted earth dam. The dam has a height of 96 meters, a length of 235 meters, and a volume of embankment around 4 million cubic meters. The dam surface is protected by riprap, and the overall capacity is 126 million cubic meters. Due to earthquake safety concerns. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation sent dam construction specialists to provide technical instruction. Therefore, greatly improved the reservoir's durability and safety. 
in 1999, the September 21st GG earthquake in the central region caused a slight rupture on the top of the dam, but the dam remained safe. In order to benefit the controlling of the water discharge from the dam, usually there are water spillways set up to let overflow pass through quickly. Normally, a water spillway has two sections, including the spillway itself and the spillway weir. The Li Yutan Reservoir is built with Taiwan's only labyrinth weir. It is very unique. Traditional spillway weirs are mostly designed in a straight line, but there is a good reason behind the design of Li Yutan Reservoir's labyrinth weir. The Li Yutan Reservoir is surrounded by the mountain, but while Jingshan Creek's width is not enough, if the weir was designed in a straight line, the amount of water overflow is restricted by the width, therefore can't meet the demands of the reservoir. With the labyrinth weir, it overcomes the narrow width, and once it is straightened, the overflow cross-section becomes wider, thus compatible with a large amount of overflow. The overflow capacity was increased, therefore it is especially suitable for geographically limited, non-controlled spillway. When Typhoon Airy hit Taiwan on August 25, 2004, the Li Yutan Reservoir spillway was overflowed for the first time. The maximum overflow amount reached 480 cubic meters per second, and its momentum was magnificent. To control the reservoir's water quality and quantity, water intake and outlet must be installed between the reservoir and the demanding user to meet the water demand. Especially with the short and rapid characteristics of Taiwan's rivers, the water often becomes murky in the raining season, which is unusable. For this, the Li Yutan Reservoir is designed with three layers of water intake that takes in water by judging water quality at the time to guarantee water quality in the reservoir. Also, the Li Yutan Reservoir is equipped with an emergency water release valve. Its maximum water outlet can reach 116 cubic meters per second to safeguard the dam. The Li Yutan Reservoir's cross-region diversion was designed and constructed by the Taiwan Power Company. The construction includes the Shiling Diversion Weir the water tunnel, and the Zhuolan power plant. This project mainly cross-diverges water from Da'an River to generate power, then stores tailwater into the reservoir. The Zhuolan power plant's generator has the net installed capacity peak output of 80,000 kilowatts. The annual electric output may reach up to 266 million kilowatt hour. Then, the tailwater will be saved by the Li Yutan Reservoir after hydroelectric power generation. With the completion of this project, the reservoir receives water source not only from the Jingshan Creek, but also water diverged from the mainstream of the Da'an River. This greatly increased the reservoir's capacity and benefited both water usage and hydroelectric power. The Li Yutan Reservoir is surrounded by the mountains. The gorgeous scenery has turned it into a recreational area with growing popularity in the central region. Crowds of visitors frequently come to indulge in the reservoir's beauty during holidays. Around the Shipi Liao area, there is an observation deck that overlooks the Li Yutan Reservoir's upstream. The brisk natural scenery and the charming water view by the mountains make visitors linger. Furthermore, the rich ecological diversity around the reservoir, surrounded by broadleaf forest, secondary forest, and plantation, are all worth in-depth appreciation. The reservoir's surrounding area also has rich cultural and historical heritage. Famous attractions include the Guian Bridge, the Old Official Road, and the Jingshan Bridge. 
here, the broken Longtan Bridge was the most famous. Once honored as Taiwan's railway top work of art, the Longtan Bridge was seriously damaged in the Guangdaoshan earthquake in 1935. The site has become a tourist attraction and also one of the best spots for railway photography. Walking up from the broken Longtan Bridge, you will arrive at the Shenxing Station, which is located at the highest altitude in Taiwan. Strolling along the old railway and breathing the natural fighting set will completely relax your mind and body. The reservoir has incorporated with the local government to develop recreational activities for a complete tourism plan. This will not only make the reservoir a friendly recreational attraction, but also allow the public to witness the important hydrological development history of Taiwan's central region. So I don't think it's just a matter of time. I think it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. The water is so big. It's a matter of time. 这火山建地哦，真大，敢做真好事，所以这万里潭诶，农田保护这边的财产有真大诶帮山。The Li Yutan Reservoir is the largest source of public water for the Greater Taichung area. The management center is responsible for the reservoir's management and operation, but also effort for sustainable water resources management and maintenance with plantation at the storage area and plans for water quality and environment improvements to ensure that we can use good water and enjoy the scenery at the same time. As the saying goes, we must remember the pain of drought when there is water. In the situation of limited water resources, let us love and cherish water resources and contribute to sustainable water usage.